Tony Vlachos has proven himself to be the king of Survivor after not only winning the game twice, but also dominating against a cast full of winners. In my opinion, he's become the greatest Survivor of all time. However, Tony wouldn't have been able to win the game twice without a little bit of luck from the Survivor gods. In this video, we're gonna take a look back at five moments where Tony was on the right side of Survivor fate. Tony dominated his first season in Cagayan by creating close bonds using great intuition and strategy and finding three hidden immunity idols. However, his path to the finals definitely required some luck. At the Survivor auction, everyone used their money to buy food except for Tony and Tasha and Spencer who were on the bottom. They all waited to use all of their money to bid on a potential advantage in the game. Jeff announced the advantage and surprisingly only Spencer and Tony stepped up while Tasha decided to wait for another advantage to come out. This resulted in a 50-50 rock draw which saw Tony win the advantage, a clue to the hidden immunity idol. This was a huge error in Tasha's game because if she would have bid for the advantage, she would have decreased Tony's chances from 50% to 33%. Since Spencer and Tasha were on the bottom, either of them getting this advantage and eventually the idol could have totally changed the game. And who knows, could Spencer or Tasha make it to the final three? Could they have blindsided Tony and taken him out before the finals? We'll never know, but you have to give it to Survivor Fate for playing a bit of a role. I think a lot of people forget how great of a player Chaos Cass really was, especially how she maneuvered through the game, playing the middle, and she created a path to the final three for herself. However, with a little bit more luck, she could have made it to the final two and possibly a shot at winning the game, although still unlikely because she was not very well liked by the jury. At the final immunity challenge between Cass, Wu, and Tony, it came down to a nail-biting finish. Wu and Cass assembled the puzzle almost simultaneously, but Wu pulled out the win by mere seconds. With a little bit of luck and some more speed, Cass could have easily won that competition, and she would have definitely taken Wu to the finals over Tony. As you're all aware, Wu won the final three immunity challenge, which allowed him to decide who to sit next to in the final two. He chose Tony, and the rest is history. But as Jeff pointed out in the reunion show, it was the wrong decision. And if Wu would have taken Cass, he would have been the winner of Survivor Kageyang. Although I believe Survivor Fate played a bit of a role in Wu not making the winning decision, you have to give credit to Tony's manipulation and charm for making Wu think the best decision for him would to take Tony to the end. Hey, if you enjoy what you're watching, make sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel to see more great content coming soon. In Winners at War, Tony played a much different game than Kageyan. In the first half of the season, he played a calm and under the radar game. And in the second half, he ramped it up, dictating nearly every move that was made. With how dynamic and fluid the game of Winners at War was, it's hard to see where alliances start and end. On day 16, Tony caught a break from the Survivor Gods when Denise blindsided Sandra with Sandra's own idol. Denise very easily could have went with Sandra's plan to blindside Tony, making a huge move for her resume, creating a closer bond with Sandra, and holding on to her second immunity idol to use in the future. As it turns out, this was the most vulnerable Tony was in the entire game. Tony was arguably just as big of a threat as Sandra, given his success on earlier seasons, his bond with Sarah, and his physical tools. I understand that Denise was trying to make big moves to point to at the end of the game and was specifically threatened by Sandra, but I think Denise played it wrong. Sandra could also be to blame for having too much hubris and not using her expiring idol on herself. If that would have happened, Denise would have used her own idol to save herself and Jeremy, Kim, and Tony would all be vulnerable. At that point, who knows who would have gone home. Even if Sandra did give Denise her idol, she could have voted for Tony just in case Denise would betray her. If Sandra voted for Tony and Denise voted for Sandra, there would have been a tie, and there would be a possibility that Tony would have gone home depending on how Jeremy and Kim voted. The final moment where Survivor Fate peeked its head in was on day 38 during the final fire making challenge when Tony went up against Sarah. The competition was very close throughout, but at one moment it looked like Sarah was going to take it. 
Her fire was tall and burning strong through the rope. A few more moments and it would have burned through, but suddenly a mix of a little gust of survivor wind, or possibly a poorly built base, broke her fire down and Tony eventually claimed victory. With a little bit of luck, Sarah could have beaten Tony and would have likely won the game. Of course, we're only playing the what-if game and hindsight is 2020. But in reality, Tony did win both seasons and always put himself in a position to advance his game. Tony is one of the best Survivor players of all time, but without a little bit of luck, he may never have become a Survivor winner at all, let alone the greatest of all time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and ding that bell to get notifications on new videos. Until next time, stay one with the tribe.